Thank you, Jesus. Psalm, Psalm 28, Psalm 28. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
their side. They're trying to look out for them in the best way they can. But guess what? They don't have peace. So we must understand that in the life that we're living, it is very important that we seek God for peace. Not just seeking Him when we need our healing. Not just seeking Him when we need a financial breakthrough or when we need something to happen in our life. But we need to seek Him for peace. We must understand that in these particular passages of Scripture, they were written by David. And David was a man that had known sorrows. He was a man that had known suffering. And some of the suffering he brought on himself. Can some of us just be honest with ourselves and say, it wasn't somebody else that brought my suffering home to me. A lot of times it was me, oh Lord, that caused problems and complications to happen in my life. It was me wanting to hang with the wrong folk. It was me wanting to do the wrong thing that caused problems in my life. I can't blame my brother or sister. It doesn't matter if they talked about me, if they lied on me. If I was doing the wrong thing, I caused dysfunction in my own life. You mean now, a lot of times, we want to always talk about the one that ran us down, the one that lied on us, the one that cheated us. But it doesn't matter how much they lied, cheated, and still, if we're doing the same wrong that they're doing, we cause the dysfunction in our life. And we need to hold ourselves accountable instead of trying to get them back for what they did to us. In Psalm 28, David cries unto the Lord, and he said, Lord, my rock. See, we got to understand something, believers. We're depending on everybody else to be our rock. We're trying to lean on somebody else. God is our rock. David cries out to the Lord because David has gotten in a bad place in his life. It was probably one of them situations when Saul, who was supposed to be the one that loved him, was trying to kill David. He called him his son, and in the same breath he called him his son, he wanted to kill him. I in the world, so blessings and curses come out the same now. You gotta hear me, believers. We gotta watch what we say, and we gotta watch what we do. We got to watch how we talk about the people of God. We got to watch how we look at the people of God. Get your mind right and ask God to give you peace. David was going through some situations in his life. Thank you, Jesus. He was going through some problems in his life. He was going through some suffering in his life. Ain't that the same boy that killed the life? Ain't that the same boy that looked the sheep. Ain't that the same boy that slew Goliath? But he was going through some sufferings in his life. I don't care how bad you are. Every once in a while, you're going to have to suffer. I don't care how spiritual you are. Every once in a while, you're going to have to go through. 